Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Leo. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Leo. All right, for those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to the channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. And thank you so much for your subscription and your support. All right, you guys, there's going to be some juicy nuggets in this reading today. So stick around till the very end and see what happens. All right, Leo. So today I have my freedom card here. And this freedom card really talks about, you know, this opportunity. Now, a lot of you Leos in the last few months have really been learning these vital lessons around freedoms. Freedom in relationship, freedom from condemning yourself, Leo, freedom from maybe a job that wasn't working out, a situation that wasn't working out, whatever the case may be. There was something to be had from that knowledge moving forward. Leo. Let's go ahead and create an opening here so we can get some vital information around this freedom card. A little bit more perspective on what direction, what space, what life are we trying to create? Hey, Leo. All right. Ascended masters, angels and guides, those who have crossed over, record keepers, Thank you so much for guiding us to the highest and best messages for the sign of Leo. Please and thank you. I wanted to thank my angels for showing their presence in this reading and allowing me to receive with light and love all the guidance from that angelic realm. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be. It is done, it is done, it is done, and so it is. All right, we have all kinds of cards popping out here, Leo. So our first card coming out is the thinking woman. Now this thinking woman has been in a space, whether this reading is male or female, this is a non-gender reading. Just want you to know that whether you're a man or a woman, that there's been this overthinking, this trying to figure out this, where do I go next? I've worked everything out until this point, and now I am really lost in my direction. I think that at this time, you're really strategizing a plan because we do have the world card that comes in. And the world is just this understanding of trusting that everything's going to work out for the best and that the universe is really on your side. The universe is really supporting all of your endeavors and it's okay. It's okay to overthink. It's okay to go into places where other people don't go. We know all of our Leos are very intuitive. So heading down the spiritual pathway, opening up a door to spirit, connecting with the divine, being in a place of harmony with all existence. This is the key to happiness right here. Our happiness, Leo, is only dependent upon how we view it, not how it tends to be on a human sense of the word. What I mean by that is we have to think of it for it to be something, but it doesn't always have to be something to be magnificent. It's just the understanding of that, right? It's all about the journey. It's all about the perseverance in the next couple steps from here on out. 
You know, I think we get too focused on the past and the future so much that we forget about the present moment. And Leos, I know you guys are like action-based and you just want to move forward and you want to, oh my gosh, I got to get this done. And oh my gosh, you know, it's almost this recognition that we're constantly chasing. And really where we need to be is in a place of appreciation, in a place of gratitude, where we can sit with things. We can recognize that even in the chaos, there's something good to be had. It's being thankful and appreciative for what we have right now. And that kind of pulls us out of, you know, the future stuff, but it also allows us to create some good connections. Giving gratitude out to the world brings back in the good stuff. Now, a lot of family members I'm seeing with this car caring connections, there's a lot of Leos out there really been sticking tight with their families, really been caring about a lot of the people around them, wanting good for them, wanting good for Leos. And I think that that energy is very positive because it's kind of, it's getting over the past, it's moving forward, it's bringing in the positive where we need to bring in the positive. And sets us up for a really good space of victory, a perseverance of acknowledgement, of self-support. And I say that lightly, self-support is like you validating yourself. It's not the world validating you, Leo. It's you validating you and you admiring your own qualities and you having that victorious space of freedom. Just saying. <laughs> Happy family. Door to romance. Hmm. Interesting why those cards popped up. I think that part of this really kind of resides in our guides right now. You know, if we're listening to this intuition and our higher guidance, those guides in our own higher guidance kind of connect and they align together and they bring in all the things that we really want. We want a happy experience, a happy situation. We need some romance because we want to feel loved, right Leo? So the thing I have to say about that is you know, just to keep tight, trust the universe. Yes, the ground is shaky. Sometimes it seems unstable. But just trust your inner guidance here and it will take you to where you need to go. Boom. So we have a woman holding a coin here. Interesting, right? Well, my theory on this is that this is wish fulfillment here. This is wish fulfillment. This is everything you ever wanted and more because you get the confidence. You get the love. I mean, we got a full house here. What do you think? Oh, Leo's. It's going to be magical from here on out. Just say it. You found the freedom. You found the open door to your higher guidance. Here we have the goddess of the moon listening and tuning in. Seriously tuning into that which is serving your highest best. And, you know, staying stable in that ground and not letting anybody kind of tip you off the mountain or push you backwards. This is you in full confidence of your worth and your value. Now the Archangel Michael wants you to know that there's love coming in. We do have our root chakra showing here. Archangel Michael is all about support, all about protection that you don't have to worry anymore. Archangel Michael is here to protect you, Leo, to guide you so that you can trust yourself and trust your higher guidance and keep moving forward and have that dream life that you really, really are meant to have. All right, let's pull some other cards here. I do want to pull a card with a little message from one of your guides, possibly somebody in your life that has passed over, and maybe you'd like to have a message from them. 
I'm going to pull one of those cards in here in a few minutes, so stay tuned. All right. We have nurture. So Leo's got to be in a place of the present moment, taking care of yourself, taking care of yourself in a place of higher guidance, you know, knowing that even though there's some crazy stuff happening around you and maybe there's some chaotic experiences that you've had to go through, that there is this situation that calls for you to still nurture yourself, still take care of yourself. You know, it's almost like, you fall down, you get back up, and you care for that knee that got injured, you know, or whatever you traumatize, you get to heal that. So that nurturing is constant. It's a daily ritual, right, Leo? It helps us to be our best selves. It helps us to continue that high frequency, high vibe loving nature of leo all right let's get a couple more so here we are with people reaching out to you leo i think that right now you're sitting in a place of solitude you really are wanting to reach out to people and you're trying your best but i think at this time it's really good that in this freedom space that you acknowledge that you know you are number one that this is all about how you want this experience to happen and it is time to reach out for those and help those people even if you're in a space where you're like i just i don't know if i have anything still being in love brings us into a place of grace where we can sit there all the time leo it's good it's really really good just got to have some some faith time to rest and plan out reconsider reconsider how you view things maybe ask yourself if you want a complicated situation with a happy ending or you know a peaceful situation with a chaotic end I think when we identify what we really know that's super important to us and we can consider the possibilities of seeing something unimaginable and I think at this time Leo that you you're like something's coming I just I'm just having a hard time trusting I'm having a hard time being in this freedom space that you keep talking about and that's why I'm saying it is really hard because here we go. Leos have to open up. Very difficult for our Leos to do that because they're too scared of people having too much information and maybe using it against them or, you know, or them using it against other people. It's all about protecting yourself and it's time to open your heart, open up. Don't be so protective of your heart. You know what? Take a chance. Take a risk. I know it's hard. But the universe is trying to give you something. A better life. But you have to be open to receive it. And if you're not open to receive it, it's not going to come in, right? All right. So let's get some messages from our one of our loved ones that has passed over. So I want you guys to take a little breath here. Breathe into the space of your loved one that you want guidance from because they are your guides right now. All right, we have two cards that popped out here. It says, it was my time to go. I was met by so many loving people. So there's your little message from that person that has passed over. Now let's get ourselves into some love. Because you guys know I really like to talk about love. I don't like to get into the dramatics of stuff. You know, I am my typical Leo. So, for that reason, <laughs> I like to keep it fun and inviting and real. But not too dramatic. Because that's just too much. Anyhow. Let's get some guidance here, my guides and angels. Ascended masters, please guide us by way of love. 
please show us the messages that we need to be shown? Ooh, here we go. Look at this. Leo, it's time to ha start having some heart-to-heart -heart conversations. It says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And I think at this time, it's really good that you get everything out on the open. You kind of ask a person, you know, where do we stand? Where, where do we go from here? Because I think in all actual reality, you just don't know. And for those of you in a present situation, maybe those hard conversations you're gonna have to have with this person, like you need somebody to be worthy of you, to value you, to love you, to support you, Leo. And I think that it would be a good idea to kind of sit with Well, just kind of sit with your feelings right now and don't be scared to tell that person how you really feel because I think that it's time for you to start honoring yourself, Leo. You know, even in my pause, I'm sitting here wanting to hug you because I know that it's been hard. In the past, there were people that were very codependent on you. It says addictions are affecting your romantic life. And I think in the past you possibly had somebody that had some addiction issues and you know, you were constantly trying to help them and there was no way to help them. And now the universe has placed you in a similar situation and you are feeling this hopelessness because it is a different person, but it still is the same type of energy, maybe the same type of feeling. So understand that you can let go of those feelings, Leo. You don't have to hold that space, a different person. Maybe there is a lesson that was already learned and things are going to come and turn out better. It's really up to you to decide because you're the one that has to make the effort. Okay. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And I think love is right here, right now, but you're so scared of it, Leo, that you're so closed off. You won't even open up and, and you know, open up and say, ah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's freedom. Freedom to choose, freedom to be, freedom of life. Letting yourself pull out of those containers, those compartmentalizing pictures in your mind and just be happy. All right. I'll need a couple more cards here. Cause again, here we go back into the dramatic. Let's pull out of there. <laughs> Once we seep down, we got to get, pull ourselves out. Right. Okay. For some of you Leos, you might be in a situation where someone from your past is going to re re you know, re-enter your life and cause a little questions to happen in your mind, to reevaluate your situation and wonder if you're in the right situation or not, or if you need to open up, up other possibilities and other doors and other relationships. And I think at this time, it's good for you to feel into your heart and feel into your intuition. Because not always the people from the past are good for you, Leo. And we need to recognize that. You know, even though our heart is still with them, maybe their bad deeds were never recognized and transformed and they never learned what they needed to learn. Now, it's not up to you to show them the way, Leo. It was up to them to decide. Sometimes people don't realize what they have in the moment. And then they lose it and then they're crying. So I think in that situation, you know, this card that comes up to me shows that your friends kind of intervened and they helped you out of that. And you need to recognize that, Leo. You know, at the time you needed to ask and accept support from others and you maybe did it a little too late, but you still got out of there. Now don't go back into that situation and say, I love that person and I'm, well, they're back again. Maybe it's meant to be. Maybe it's only meant to be recognized. And maybe there's a person that you've just met or a person in the future that's going to be more in alignment with you, Leo, and you've got to let go of that person from the past. 
even the feelings around that person, maybe they're never going to return the way that you want them to. Maybe they are never going to be better. Because your soulmate's here, Leo. Yes, person that is in this future energy, maybe just recently met them over the course of the last few months or over the course of the last year in the crazy chaos. They came in to save themselves and to save you and vice versa. You came into this situation to save yourself and to save them. But honestly, it's not that way. There's this uniting to save the world together. And so that's that energy that's also there. All right, Leos, if you want to go a little bit deeper into this reading, all my information is down there in that description box below. So understand your freedoms. Really write down all of this stuff because it's good to be aware of your circumstances. All right, you guys, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. And as always, I am here to support you highly and fully, and I love you so much, Leo. So thank you so much for your support, your subscription, and namaste.